If you'd like a free voice mod application that can change your voice and mix it up for your videos, your live streams, for when you're talking to people on comms, this is it. Check it out. I've got my voice mod set up on my stream deck, link in the description below, and I can just punch a button here on my stream deck and it's party time, baby. Party time. At the press of a button, I'm now 27,000. IQ commentary here during my live stream on my call. Switch to zombie voice using voice mod. Just demoing how this can work for you at the press of a button. Links below to the stream deck if you're interested in this device. To help control voice mod. And now everyone's cheering for me with the speech of fire ovation effect. And lastly, play Cyberpunk 2077 or sci-fi games you can become this voice during your live streams. The whole point of this is that, and I'm now I'm going to turn the effect off. This is how you set it up, okay? It's a free program, and I am not paid to tell you about it. Go ahead and go to voicemod.net. That's the website, and it's going to drop you right here on this landing page, and you go ahead and click Get Voice Mod Free button right here. Currently only available for Windows. There may be a Mac version available in the free future, and once it, you click the button, it will begin downloading the program per normal. It's not that large. It's going to be 250 megabytes total when all is said and done. Once you download it, click the file to go ahead and install it like you would any other program on your computer and go ahead and click yes when it asks you to set up. Select your language, of course, and then it's going to ask you to go through a standard setup process and you're gonna hit the next button here along the way. Once you click next, uh, I recommend uh, accepting the terms of the agreement, but read every page of that, I'm sure you will. <laughs> And then choose your location. I recommend leaving it on your C drive. Uh, it usually works better if you leave it on your C drive. Then go ahead and hit next. And I do recommend leaving the shortcuts in case you have trouble finding the file later on. All right. So there you go. Hit the next button and then install. And it will go through a normal installation process, dropping some DLLs on your computer, as well as uh, helping put some drivers on your computer to be able to control your voice uh, using this program, uh, which is really interesting. And this is going to actually change the way that audio is routed on your computer, by the way. And I'm going to talk about that in just a moment and how you do your headphones and your microphone and stuff like that while it's installing. I want you to understand. Here we go. And then now there's an option, now that it's done installing, to launch voice mod. Go ahead and launch it, hit finish, and then it should pop up the program. And once it does pop up the program, it is normal for it to prompt you to log in using a number of login methods uh, because it is going to want you to pay a subscription. Now you can decide whether you want to pay the subscription or not, that's up to you. Uh, and I will show you some of the pro features in a minute. Click enter voice mod here. And then as you can see, it will pull up a window for you guys uh, for social login that looks like this. And you can choose to log in using Discord, Twitch, Google, or your own email address. That's up to you. I had already logged in before. And once you log in, it will give you a login success window. And then you now have Voice Mod installed on your computer. Cool? Awesome. So now with Voice Mod, we'll go ahead and pop it up. And we'll go ahead and go over the basic setup here. When you first pop it up, it's going to give you a window here. Don't worry. Don't be confused. Uh, what you're going to do is just choose from the drop-down menu here the microphone you prefer to use, your highest quality microphone. I use the Shure MV7 microphone. You choose yours. If you have not yet plugged in your headphone, you can click the refresh button right here, and it will, or your microphone, you hit the refresh button, and then it'll recognize the device. For your headphones, you want to choose a pair of headphones that are separate from the device that is your microphone. So as you can see, these speakers that you see right here are separate from the microphone. What do I mean by that? So for those of you out there that have a mixer, for example, I use a Rodecaster Pro just as an example, but if you have a mixer, if you choose your speakers as your mixer, as an example, and you choose your microphone as your mixer, it will feedback loop the signal in and out of your mixer over and over again. So choose two separate devices as your headphones and your microphone so that you don't get feedback through the program, okay? Then once you do that, you go ahead and hit the continue button right over here once you hear yourself in the headphones. So it's going to play back your audio to you in real time once you've completed the step, and now you hit continue, and then it tells you you're all done, and it wants you to go experiment with the different sounds in the program, and you can click the all done button. Awesome. 
click start voice mod right here. And what it's warning you about is that you have created a virtual audio microphone on your computer. What does that mean? What that means is that you've created a new device that you can use that is the processed sound. So whenever you hear me uh, sounding like this through my recordings, this is not just my microphone that you're hearing. This is a virtual version going to turn it off for clarity's sake. It is a virtual device created by voice mod. Let me just show you exactly what I mean by that. Click start more start. So if you go down, I'm going to disappear, check out your settings in your bottom right hand side of your computer for you to understand the concept I'm talking about down here in windows, you're going to click the little sound icon down there that looks like a speaker. Go ahead and right click that and click sound settings down there in the bottom right hand corner, okay? And when you click sound settings on your Windows computer, it'll pop up a menu that looks like this, right? And you'll see your output device up here, which is your speakers, I'll come back on screen, your output device up here, which is your speakers. And then most importantly, it's gonna show you your input device. And as you can see, Voice Mod created a new input device. This is a really important concept for you to understand for Voice Mod. So now, if you ever want to pump in your modified version of your voice, you aren't going to just select like your normal microphone here, which in my case would be the Shure MV7. You're instead going to select Virtual Voice Mod Virtual Audio Device instead which is the processed version of your voice that has the voice modifications. So in Discord, pick that. In Skype, pick that. In OBS, pick that. In Streamlabs OBS XSplit, pick that. In Zoom, pick that. Got it? That's how you get the processed version of your voice through. And if you don't want a processed version of your voice, then just select the normal microphone here in your system settings as your input. Make sense? Cool. Let me go over to the unlocked version of voice mod to show you some of the advanced features here and how to use it. So I'm on my other computer now, and this is, I now have the pro unlocks here. And so what does the pro unlock do? It allows you to access the giant catalog of voices that are on the program that are in this program. As you can see, there's a huge library of, I think 60 or 70 voices here in this giant, giant, giant list. Uh, but one thing I want you guys to be aware of is down here in the bottom, you have a number of different settings you should be aware of. Do you see background effects down there in the bottom and voice changer down here in the bottom, as well as hear myself down here in the bottom of the program? These are critical settings that you need to be aware of to properly use the program. Background effects is going to play these like music or and or uh, background looping sound effects behind these voice modifications, and you don't have to use them. Starting users, I recommend not turning that on, but actually turning that off for the most part, because those background effects are extremely distracting, and you're probably just wanting the voice, and if you're hearing like music and extra stuff, that's what that is. Turn background effects off. Then when you enable your voice changer, as you can see right here, you will want to toggle this on and this will give you a visual confirmation that when you turn on voice changer, it's on. And so as you can see, when I hit my stream deck, it now toggles on down there in the bottom, giving me a visual indication that my voice changer is on. Awesome. You can also choose whether you want to hear yourself or not over here on the far side underneath my logo down there. See that? So right, for example, right now, while I'm doing this tutorial video, I don't want to hear myself while I'm doing all of these different voice effects. Because as you can imagine, sounding like a zombie and listening to yourself sounding like a zombie may be difficult for you to keep your concentration. So you can choose to toggle that setting on or off by clicking this button right here, hear yourself. And when you do that, it's going to play back the modified version of your voice over your headphones that you selected earlier. Make sense? A couple other navigation items that you should be aware of. You'll be able to navigate all of the voices up here using the voice box button. Voice box is all the pre-made ones and all the ones that you have saved over time, okay? And so what you're gonna do here, this is your main place to navigate all of the voices that you have. But if you scroll up, as you can see, there is an option for you to have favorites here in this section. And the way you make something a favorite is you click the heart button right above it, as you can see right there, and it'll add it to a curated section of voices at the top. You wanna use the curated section of voices because there's so many selections to choose from. You don't wanna to have to sort through all of them all the time. Lastly, 
you can do a customized voice if you want to with the only with the pro version of the program. I'm not going to go over how, exactly how to do that here, but custom voices allows you to uh, do every single parameter uh, that you want um, to make a custom voice from adding custom delay to custom vocoders to custom robotifiers. You can use every single effect in the entire program to make a custom one just for what your vision for your voice would be in the program. But that is a pro only effect. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in picking up a stream deck uh, to go ahead and control uh, these uh, voice effects, I very, very highly recommend it. It's extremely difficult to do this without a stream deck. And if you have any questions at all about technology or different gear or microphones that you may want to use while using voice mod, follow me on Amazon. Link in the description below. I, you can, I release content on a regular basis on Amazon image content, original videos, idealists for gear, including different microphones and setups that you can use. And I actually do live streams on Amazon that you can follow and ask me questions live right here on Amazon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one and enjoy all of those cool voices.